Rodney. 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 <laughs> Matt, get up. Son, you've overslept. I know you was up late last night, man, but we got work to do. We got that camping trip this weekend. Yeah, I know. Now it's going to have to be something quick and easy. Well, I, I don't know what's going to... Oh, you have an idea. But what's your idea? So you want to do some stir-fried cauliflower rice with chicken. Son, I'm in. Let's get after it. Y'all stick around. I'll show you how. All right, for this recipe, we're going to need a couple of eggs, a couple of small onions, some carrots, some frozen peas, some green onions, and a couple bags of riced cauliflower. The sauce is going to be my standard Asian type sauce. I need some rice vinegar, toasted sesame oil, soy sauce or organic coconut aminos like I use, some fish sauce, and some sriracha. Alright, so it's possible, thanks to Rodney, this is going to be the easiest recipe that's ever been on this channel. It's very simple, and actually most of the stuff that's going to get done at home is just, just a small portion by comparison to what's going to be done at the campsite. And that's not to imply that it's going to be difficult once you get to the campsite. Anyway, so we need to take our onions, our carrots, and our spring onions and turn them into small manageable bits. Just to be certain, I want to show you what size this stuff should be. So let's have a look. I'm just going to slice one up. You're going to want pieces about this big. You know, not too small, not too big. And then we're going to do up some spring onions here. I'm going to do them right up to about here so we get some of that green stalk in there. And then a handful of these carrots. Do them about like this. And this is about what your pot of veg should look like. Now we're going to add in a good sized handful of peas and we're going to call this done. Uh, about that many. And now on to the sauce. This is dead simple. First thing, we'll put in a little splash of rice vinegar. We're going to put in about a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. About three tablespoons of organic coconut aminos. Now if you want to use soy sauce that's fine. I use this because of my diabetes. Anyway, we're gonna have some fish sauce. About another, about a tablespoon. And some sriracha. I recommend you put in the sriracha to taste. I like it somewhere between, can just barely feel it, and holy smokes is that hot. We will salt and pepper this as we cook it, because you want to do that to taste. Now we're going to lid this, and put it away with all the other stuff. I want to add just right now, for some reason my cheapo camera deleted a couple of files, so the things that are missing is this. First things first is put down a good coat of oil and fry up your veg. That's your peas, your spring onions, your onions, and uh, your carrots. Until the carrots kind of get to the tooth, then you want to back off. So here we are. Yep. We're almost there. You want to keep this stuff moving. And the onions start to brown just a little bit. Get you a piece of carrot. Just when it starts to lose its tooth. That's when it's done. Now, we're going to scoop this to the side. 
for those of you that don't know this model Blackstone, the uh, burner is in a three on the tree pattern. <laughs> Us rednecks know what that means. Reverse, first, second, third. That's how the burner is set up in this thing. So the outside edges are going to be cooler. I'm going to set that off to the side and we'll put in a couple scrambled eggs. Let's get them good and scrambled. Okay, the egg's good and done. Stick it off to the side too. So that's the meat of two leg quarters right there, pulled. Just We just need to heat that through. Okay, our chicken should be heated through about now. We don't want to cook it too much because we don't want it to dry out. So let's mix all our veg and our egg back in and get that a good mix. I'm not good with the two spatula thing like the hungry hussy. I suspect the hungry hussy may uh, may have worked at a Waffle House one time or so. Anyway, if you've not checked out the hungry hussy's page, he was one of my biggest inspirations for doing this. You should go check him out. And now the tricky part about the rice cauliflower. This stuff can go from you know kind of to the tooth to mush in a matter of seconds. So you want to put this on absolute dead last. Keep stirring it. Keep flipping it over and testing it out every few minutes. Now let's get this nice and incorporated. I forgot to put garlic in my sauce, so I put about four cloves of garlic minced in, in the sauce. And also, I want to tell you, all my friends and friends that I haven't met yet, how much I appreciate your support. And uh, don't forget, we haven't given the giveaway yet for the Bad Byron's Butt Bucket. But I also want to remind you, please, don't forget to hit like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. If you want to see more content like this and my, my camping uh, campground videos and more cooking videos and stuff like that, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, you'll get notified every time I put one of these up every Friday, every Tuesday for campground reviews. Now, I just give it a taste, and it's about where you want it to be, but it's going to need some salt and pepper, and why put salt and pepper when you can put Bad Byron's butt rub, mm hmm Now it's time to add the sauce. We're going to put in this sauce that we made earlier. Mix it around real good, maybe even add a little more oil. And then we're going to go eat. Serving this with some steamed broccoli for dinner tonight. Sounds pretty good, don't it? We're going to give it just a few more minutes, a few more mixes around here. And then we're going to call it done. All right, it's done. It's done all I can do to it. How about we give it a little taste? See if we can get a little bit of everything in it. Mm. Mm. That's why I could come from the Chinese restaurant. Ladies and gentlemen, that's hardly fit to eat. I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep going until I find me a good spot. Well, that's going to be about it for this week at Eating Good in the Woods. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you try it. And leave a comment if you've, if you've tried it and you want to let me know what you think of it. But in the meantime, I want you all to go out there and be nice to each other. God bless you guys, and I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.